Ancien.
真佛中，西雅图雷藏寺，同济用观世音菩萨本尊法，恭迎真佛中创办人、无上法王根本传承上师圣尊莲生活佛，众人虔诚合掌，唱诵莲花童子心咒。坛城做观想大礼拜，礼拜根本传承上师及十方三世一切诸佛，嗡啊吽，观想顶礼，回天心善印，二拜诸菩萨，嗡啊吽，观想顶礼，回天心善印，三拜诸护法金刚，嗡啊吽，观想顶礼。回天心善印，四平等一起受。恭庆法王圣尊莲生活佛，生法王座。We welcome our Lineage Sri Guru, His Holiness Lady Buddha Lian Sheng. To ascend to the Dharma throne, please, Shimo Lian Xiang, Master, sit down. Please, Zhangnao Renpo Qie Ji, Master, sit down. Please, 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 Master, sit down. All the masters, venerables, and all participants, to please be seated. 介绍贵宾，今晚的同修，让我们欢迎廖东洲大使夫人朱迪师姐。Our guest of honors tonight is the wife of Ambassador Daniel Liang, the Master's Judy. 欢迎真波波耶藏执行长周慧芳律师。And the CEO of the Bipo Yi, the Master's Judy. 欢迎刘刘建军牙医师。And Dr. Yu. 欢迎洪医师。Dr. Hong. 我们也依照雷藏寺往常的惯例，请第一次来或很久没有来参加同修的同门站起来，自我介绍您的法号和来自的国家及道场。我们先从龙边开始。Please say your name and where you came from. 师尊好，师母好，大家好。我们是来自香港，我是莲花依文。Uh, 我是莲花干瑶，他是莲花金佑。弟弟，我爱你。好可爱，好欢迎。师尊好，师母好，大家好啊！我来自加州金山雷藏寺，我是莲花超红，谢谢大家。欢迎。From California。
请问龙边还有吗？那虎边呢？好，这边前面红色衣服。这边好，嗯 ，He is a group of forty people from Australia, China, Hong Kong, Canada. I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Welcome. 呃，师尊好，我是莲花小慧。呃，今天我们呃，最昨天晚上我们刚下飞机来到西雅图，我们是第一遍过来的，过来美国。We just got off the plane last night. 呃，跟师尊。And our first time here. 学习也很很高兴跟其他的同门学习，谢谢大家，欢迎。请问还有吗？那我们也以热烈的掌声欢迎长老仁波切世界各地众上师、教授师、法师、贵宾朋们上心大德前来参加同修。同修观世音菩萨本尊法开始，观世音菩萨本尊法开始，生活中传承。Visualize to Buddha image。Namo Vairogana Buddha。Namo 佛焰佛母。南无布达罗卡纳，南无阿弥陀佛，南无阿弥达巴布达，南无莲花童子，南无巴玛古玛拉，南无南无莲生活佛，观想师尊与诸佛菩萨坐定观世音菩萨坐定观世音菩萨坐定观世音菩萨坐定观世音菩萨坐定观世音菩萨坐定观世音菩萨坐定观世音菩萨坐定观世音菩萨坐定观世音菩萨坐定观世音菩萨坐定观世音菩萨坐定观世音菩萨坐定观世音菩萨坐定观世音菩萨坐定观世音菩萨坐定观世音菩萨坐唵咕噜莲生悉地吽，唵咕噜莲生悉地吽，唵咕噜莲生悉地吽。做数量观，观想行者自身的右手边有父亲及父系亲人。To our left are the ancestors and relatives from the father's side. On the right from the mother's side. 后方有恩人、师长、亲朋好友。前方有冤亲善主。In front of us are our karmic creditors. In 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 front of us are our karmic 念清净咒及安抚之真言，嗡修尼修尼玛哈修尼修修尼梭哈，嗡修多尼修多尼修摩尼萨哈，嗡修多尼修多尼修摩尼萨哈，嗡修多尼修多尼修摩尼萨哈，嗡修多尼修多尼修摩尼萨哈，嗡修多尼修多尼修摩尼萨哈，嗡修多尼修多尼修摩尼萨哈，嗡修多尼修多尼修摩尼萨哈，嗡修多尼修多尼修摩尼萨哈，嗡修多尼修多尼修摩尼萨哈，嗡修多尼修多尼修摩尼萨哈，嗡修多尼修多尼修摩尼萨哈，嗡修多尼修多尼修摩尼萨哈，嗡修多尼修多尼修摩尼萨哈，嗡修多尼修多尼修摩尼萨哈，嗡修多尼修多尼修摩尼萨哈，嗡修多尼修多尼修摩尼萨哈，嗡修多尼修多尼修摩尼萨哈，嗡修多尼修多尼吽索哈，吽啊，吽索哈，众弟子一心奉请，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨
from Guangjiang Visualize from Rosishan Buddha Second to all Bodhisattvas Visualize from Rosishan Buddha Third to all Herukas and Dhamma Protectors Visualize from Rosishan Buddha Fourth Hector Great Mandala Offering from the Offering Mudra. Visualize the transformations of the offerings to fill the whole cosmic space. Make the offering above to the lineage root guru or the lineage gurus, the main deity of the group practice, Avalokiteshvara Bodhisattva, and all Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, Herukas, Dhammapalas, Dakinis, and Divinities, and below to all sentient beings. We set the offering verse and mantra on Meru for continents and sun and moon, transform into precious offerings for the Buddhas, may this wondrous precious and marriage purge our karma to all of our civilization. Om Sawa Tathagata Itamu Guru Nana Mien Chana Kang Liriye Tayami Powerful Refuge, Visualize Our Lineage Root Guru, All the Lineage Gurus, Buddha Jewel, Dhamma Jewel, and Sangha Jewel, to form bright white light to empower us. We said the mantra, Namo Guru Be, Namo Buddha Ye, Namo Dhamma Ye, Namo Sankhya Ye, Namo Guru Be, Namo Buddha Ye, Namo Dhamma Ye, Namo Sankhya Ye, Namo Guru Be, Namo Buddha Ye, Namo Dhamma Ye, Namo Sankhya Ye. Arma protection from Vajakram's mudra. We said Vajapani mantra seven times. We set hiking Guan Yin Sutra for the invocation of the eight great Bodhisattvas. Namo Zuzun Pusa Moho Sa, Guan Shi Yin Pusa, Namo Fo, Namo Fa, Namo Shen, Fo Guo Yu Yuan, Fo Pa Tiang Yin, Chang Le Wo Xin, Yu Yuan Fo Fa, Namo Moho Bo Ye Bo Lo Mi Shi Da Shen Zou, Namo Moho Bo Ye Bo Lo Mi Shi Da Ming Zou, Namo Moho Bo Ye Bo Lo Mi Shi Wu Shan Zou, Namo Moho Bo Ye Bo Lo Mi Shi Wu Deng Deng Zou, Namo Jin Guang Mi Mi Bo, Ba Zhang Bo, Shi Zhe Ho Shen Zhu Yu Wang Bo, Bo Gao Xu Mi Deng Wang Bo, Ba Hu Bo, Jin Gang Chang Shi Zhe Yu Xi Bo, Ba Shun Bo, Shen Tong Bo, Yao Shi Liu Li Guang Wang Bo, Pu Guang Gong De Shang Wang Bo, Shen Zhu Gong De Ba Wang Bo, Guo Qu Qi Bo, Wei Lai Xian Jie Qian Bo, Qian Wu Bai Bo, Wa Wu Qian Bo, Wu Bai Hua Shen Bo, Bai Yi Jin Gang Zhang Bo, Ding Guang Bo, Liu Fang Liu Bo Ming Hao, Dong Fang Bao Guang Yue Dian Yue Miao Zun Ying Wang Bo, Nan Fang Su Gen Hua Wang Bo, Di Fang Zhang Wang Shen Tong Yan Hua Wang Bo, Bei Fang Yue Dian Qing Jin Bo, Shang Fang Wu Su Jin Jin Bao So Bo, Diang Fang Shan Ji Yue Ying Wang Bo, Wu Lian Zhu Bo, Do Bao Bo, Shi Diang Mo Li Bo, Mi Le Bo, A Chu Bo, Mi To Bo, 
中央一切众生，在佛世界中者，即住于地上，即在虚空中，此由于一切众生，各令安稳休息，昼夜修持，经常求诵此经，能灭生死苦，消除诸毒害。南无大明观世音，光明观世音，高明观世音，开明观世音。药王菩萨、药上菩萨、文殊师利菩萨、普贤菩萨、虚空坦菩萨、地藏王菩萨、清凉宝山亿万菩萨、普光王如来化圣菩萨，念念诵此经，七佛世尊，即作作业，离婆离婆地，求好求好地，陀罗尼地，离合那地，毗尼尼地，摩诃伽地。尊人称地所合，离婆离婆地，求好求好地，陀罗尼地，离合那地，比尼尼地，摩诃伽地，尊人称地所合，离婆离婆地，求好求好地，陀罗尼地，离合那地，比尼尼地，摩诃伽地，尊人称地所合，离婆离婆地，求好求好地。陀罗尼地，离合那地，比尼尼地，摩诃伽地，尊人称地，受合，离婆离婆地，求好求好地，陀罗尼地，离合那地，比尼尼地，摩诃伽地，尊人称地，受合，离婆离婆地，求好求好地，陀罗尼地，离合那地，比尼尼地，摩诃伽地，尊人称地，受合。离婆离婆地，求好求好地，陀罗尼地，离合那地，比尼尼地，摩诃伽地，尊人称地，受合。十方观世音，一切诸菩萨，誓愿救众生，称名悉解脱。若有智慧者，殷勤为解说。但是有因缘，读诵口不错，诵经满千遍，念念心不绝。火焰不能伤，刀兵利摧者，贿赂生欢喜，死者变成佛。莫言此事虚，诸佛不忘说。高王观世音，能救诸苦厄，临危急难中，死者变成佛。诸佛语不虚，是故因顶礼，直诵满千遍，众罪皆消灭。后福坚信者，专攻受持经。愿以此功德普及于一切，诵满一千遍，众罪皆消灭。高王观世音经中，念三遍往生咒：南无阿弥陀佛耶，哆他伽多耶，哆地亚他，阿弥尼陀佛比，阿弥尼陀舍三菩提。阿弥尼陀，比伽难得；阿弥尼陀，比伽难得。伽弥尼，伽伽那，悉多伽尼苏哈。南无阿弥陀佛耶，多他伽多耶，多地亚他。阿弥尼陀佛比，阿弥尼陀，舍赞佛比，阿弥尼陀，比伽难得；阿弥尼陀，比伽难得。伽弥尼，伽伽那，悉多伽尼苏哈。南无阿弥陀佛耶，多他伽多耶，多地亚他，阿弥尼陀佛比，阿弥尼陀舍赞佛比，阿弥尼陀比伽难得，阿弥尼陀比伽难得，伽弥尼伽伽那，悉多伽尼苏哈。首先，莲花童子首映。From Padma Kumara Mudra, visualize the empowerment of the three lights by Padma Kumara. He said that Magumara Mantra twenty-one times. 
ओम गुरु नियन संग सीते हम 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 From Lotus Anjali Mudra, first empty your mind and visualize the Sunyata Visualization Mantra. Visualize the moon disk in the sky with the white shi-shi syllable at the center radiating bright white light. The shi syllable shi revolves to become the white soft nature of Lakshmara seated on the lotus throne wearing layers of celestial garments and beautiful ornaments. She looks compassionate and magnificent, radiating infinite pure light. Also visualize the six-syllable mantra revolving around the Bodhisattva. Visualize her right hand is holding the nectar vase, which emits a ray of pure light shining upon us. Eradicating our negative karma and negative thoughts, transforming all negativities to become black smoke expelled through the skin pores and disappearing in thin air. Our bodies become crystal clear and pure white and luminous, and we attain peace and ease. Then visualize our Gitteswara Bodhisattva moves to above our heads. Seated on top of our heads and decreases in size until she becomes like a drop of light. At the same time, our heart chakra opens to become lotus blossom. With the moon disk on its center and the white sit syllable she on it, radiating white light to invoke our Lakhidiswara Bodhisattva to enter our central channel. With the snap of the fingers, we merge with our Lakhidiswara Bodhisattva completely identical. He said, I will look at this one, I will just have 108 times and perform visualization, mala visualization. Om Mani Bami Hom, 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 Om Mani Bami Hom. Om Mani Bhaimi Hum 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 Om 
อมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอมอมมานีเปมีหอม做九节佛风，九三摩地
听持八大本尊心咒及念佛。唵阿弥陀佛，唵阿弥陀佛，唵本那摩尼陀尼梭哈。嗡哈哈哈，维萨摩耶梭哈，嗡舍利舍利，尊提梭哈，嗡舍巴那刹那刹那耶梭哈，嗡阿吽贝萨咕噜贝玛悉帝吽塞，嗡阿吽咕噜贝阿呵萨萨玛哈莲生悉帝吽，德亚他嗡贝卡兹亚贝卡兹亚，玛哈贝卡兹亚，那扎萨摩卡德嘿梭哈。Homage to the thirty-six trillions hundred and nineteen thousand five hundred Buddhas with the same name at the location of Anapana. Homage to the thirty-six trillions hundred and nineteen thousand five hundred Buddhas with the same name at the location of Anapana. Homage to the thirty-six trillions hundred and nineteen thousand five hundred Buddhas with the same name at the location of Anapana. Please recite the supplication to the Guru Buddha to stay in samsara. I pay homage and supplicate this home to virtuous and marvelous Sandrika. All Buddhas in the Buddha verses as numerous as grains of sand, compassionate bodhisattvas, herukas, dhammapas, and dakinis, protectors of dharma. The three poisons are proliferating endlessly. Our body and soul are striking, tumbling, illness, ruin, and perpetual rebirth. With great compassion, this home is descended upon this world to salvage the deluded ones. The three jewels and the goddess light provide refuge for all. All fortunate beings, humans, and devils rely on his larger body for the bestowal of teachings, vows, precepts, empowerments, and attainments. We disciples of the Buddha plead that you stay in samsara to turn the Dharma world to benefit and give happiness to multitudes of sentient beings. We set the mantra of longevity Buddha 21 times and dedicate the merit to the health and longevity of our living students. Om Amano Ni Zu En Di E So Ha Om Amano Ni Zu En Di E So Ha Om Amano Ni Zu En Di E So Ha Om Amano Ni Zu En Di E So Ha Om Amano Ni Zu En Di E So Ha Om Amano Ni Zu En Di E So Ha Om Amano Ni Zu En Di E So Ha Om Amano Ni Zu En Di E So Ha Om Amano Ni Zu En Di E So Ha Om Amano Ni Zu En Di E So Ha Om Amano Ni Zu En Di E So Ha Om Amano Ni Zu En Di E So Ha Om Amano Ni Zu En Di E So Ha Om Amano Ni Zu En Di E So Ha Om Amano Ni Zu En Di E So Ha Merit dedication, I pray that the pure light purges my karma to attain the self-mastery of the deity Avalokiteswara, radiating compassionate light upon all beings, everyone taking refuge in the greatly compassionate one. May all who reside Amitabha Buddha ascend to the Lord of Yus, please repel awful generosities from the earth, aiding those in the three realms below, like the Buddha, Upon seeing the Buddha, may we transcend life and death like the Buddha, may we live at all. To the school disciples who had to be prayed to the main deity of the group practice today, the main deity of compassion, the Mahalaka Deswara Bodhisattva, the correct Dharma Tathagata, by your boundless power of compassion to please protect our living structure with great help, longevity, great bliss, self-mastery, untouched by calamities. To live a long life in samsara, to turn to dharma, and deliver sentient beings to the other shore. Inviting his holiness, living Buddha Lian Shang, to perform the overall merit dedication.
wholeheartedly we pay homage to the greatly loving and compassionate Avalokiteswara Bodhisattva. Wholeheartedly we pay homage to the greatly loving and compassionate Avalokiteswara Bodhisattva. Wholeheartedly we pay homage to the greatly loving and compassionate Avalokiteswara Bodhisattva. We pray to Avalokiteswara Bodhisattva by your myriad transformations. Holding the willow branch and the pure nectar water to sprinkle upon all the three thousand great thousand worlds. To purify sentient beings. With pure self nature, to purify all self natures, we pray to the Bodhisattva to guide the Bhadra spirits to be reborn into the pure Buddha verses. We pray that you bestow upon us benefits from our spiritual cultivation. Please bes compassionately bestow good fortune upon us so that we are endowed with ample resources and provisions. Please bestow complete wisdom upon us. We pray that you bless us with good health all wishes fulfilled, calamities transformed into auspiciousness and strong spiritual commitment. By your willow branch and the pure nectar water, please eradicate all disasters and calamities. Due to the earth, water, fire, and wind elements, including arms and weaponries, our look at the Swara Bodhisattva, who appear wherever they are asked for. With the greatly loving and compassionate Avalokiteshvara Bodhisattva and gods in heavens, gods on earth, may be far from all calamities, may all calamities abandon us, may all disasters turn into dust. May all of our prayers be granted. May the virus disappear. May the pandemic disappear. May calamities disperse. May bad causes and conditions vanish. May bad thoughts vanish. One. Go
recite hundred syllable mantra three times. สตตคายุเมปาวาสุปปคายุเมปาวาอนุนาตุเมปาวาชาวาหะสิติเมปุนายะทะชาวากามาสุจามิจิตตะมุสินิยันกุโรหมอะหะหะหะเฮปังคะ
and homage to Master Tupten Tarshi. Homage to the three jewels of the altar. Homage to the main deity of the group practice today. Namo the greatly loving and compassionate Avalokiteshvara Bodhisattva. All Dhamma masters, Dhamma educators, Dhamma teachers, Dhamma instructors, Dhamma tutors, directors of temples and chapters, and all disciples present here and over the internet. Good evening, everyone. How do you do? I stayed Jalang it Ola Miko Jero Musho Goin Ichiba Timoshi Jimmy Yapi Brim Brim Komanga Uh, this evening, we had the group practice, Avalokiteshvara Bodhisattva, uh, as the main deity, as the deity yoga or yidam practice. The manifestations of Avalokiteshvara Bodhisattva are the most numerous. That's why we say myriad of them, like trillions of them. We say that Avalokiteshvara Bodhisattva is also the most compassionate Bodhisattva. So, Therefore, sometimes when we talk about Buddha Dharma, we say that the Amitabha in each household, oh, Amitabha in each home, and Avalokiteshvara in each household. So when the monastic people would say Amitabha, and in almost every household, they would enshrine Avalokiteshvara Bodhisattva. So there are many manifestations. We often tell this joke that the South Sea belongs to China. Otherwise, where would the South Sea <laughs> Avalokiteshvara Bodhisattva live? It's a joke. The East Sea also belongs to China. Otherwise, where would the East Sea Dragon King live? Because we know the South Sea Avalokiteshvara Bodhisattva is very famous. We all know her. Avalokiteshvara Bodhisattva is, of course, the most important main deity or yidam in Sukhavati, or the Western realm of Atmos Bliss. In Sukhavati, they are the Pure Land Trinity, at the center, Amitabha Buddha. And when we are facing them, to our right is Avalokiteshvara Bodhisattva, and to our left is Mahasthama Prapta Bodhisattva. And they are called the three niti of Sukhavati. 
or the three sages of Sukhavati, the three main reliances in Sukhavati. We all know in the Amitabha Sutra, Sukhavati, the western realm of Atmos Bliss, is all the Buddhas in the ten directions that extend their tongues, their broad and long tongue to praise. So, the realm of Atmos Bliss is commonly praised by all the Buddhas. And the emanation of our Lokiteswara is not only in Sukhavati, but there are many our Lokiteswara in many realms, many other realms. So this deity is our one of our eight primary deities of True Buddha School. And many disciples have Avalokiteswara Bodhisattva as their personal meditational deity or yidam. Like some of their her emanations are the seven Avalokiteswara with 32 forms and many more a myriad of them. This deity is the greatest bodhisattva. Of the eight great bodhisattvas, we know, as we know, the first one we call upon is Avalokiteswara. Bodhisattva, the greatly loving and compassionate Avalokiteswara Bodhisattva. So among the eight great Bodhisattvas, Avalokiteswara is one of them. And the High King Avalokiteswara Bodhisattva, which we often chant, Inside the Hiking Kuan Yin Sutra, and also primarily the Hiking Avalokiteswara as the primary one, but there are also four more in there, and they are the Noble Avalokiteswara, the expansively minded Avalokiteswara. Uh, the observant Avalokiteswara and the great wisdom Avalokiteswara. Four more. Where can we find these four bodhisattvas? Many people don't know. The great wisdom, the observant, the noble, the expansively minded Avalokiteswara. Where are they? Where can we find them? If you want to find them, go to Kyoto, Japan. Uh, the Sanjusan, the 33 temple there. And they have this four Avalokiteswara. The great wisdom, observant, noble, and expansively minded Avalokiteswaras. All four of them. And they are quite rare, Avalokiteswaras. They appear wherever they are prayed to. And they always deliver sentient beings in, from the ocean of suffering. If you don't believe this, go find and ask the Vietnamese refugees 
when they bought uh, the a boat from Totun, Vietnam. And every time on the boats, when they encounter uh, disasters, they always chant Avalokiteshvara Bodhisattva. Guan Yin. So you can ask those Vietnamese refugees who came to America, you, which Bodhisattva they prayed to, and they all prayed to Avalokiteshvara Bodhisattva. Ah, let me share a few jokes. A, a human being should marry at least once in li our lives. You know why? Because otherwise you would never know how comfortable it is to live alone. Yesterday, Xiaoming was fired, and he felt bad. And the reason was, his boss sent line to the group, a meeting at 10 and bring your uh, hmm, bring your life necessity to the meeting room and when he got to the meeting room all the colleagues brought their laptops except Xiaoming brought his bowl and chopsticks and he was fired so, like your yeah, hmm, life necessity, but in Chinese it's like eating, because eating is life necessity, eating utensils. The wife was trying, working very hard to teach a newborn baby to call dad. And the dad was really moved. The wife is so sweet. To teach the son to call dad instead of to call mom. So he's really touched until one night the baby was crying all night and kept calling dad and the wife Nudge her, her husband. Your son is calling you. Go take care of him. Now we will get into the main subject. Question from Malaysia by Lian Hua Yue Qin. Kim. Homage to the Lineage Root Guru, Living Buddha Lian Sheng, Grandmaster Lu. Amitabha. Grandmaster, on March 11, 2023, at the Seattle Lizang Temple, you said that look at cells, look at the cells. Every day, quite a few of our cells die. So cells live and they die too. The 
This reminds me, your disciple, a passage from Grandmaster's book number 167, Listen to the Whispers in My Heart, in an article entitled, Ami, I am Amitabha Buddha, please listen to the whispers in my heart. The Buddha said, all bodies throughout the Dharma realm are Amitabha Buddhas. So what is pure, what is defiled, what is happy, what is suffering then? It is just because everyone has changed their faces that they have forgotten that they are Amitabha Buddhas. In the Sutra on the Samadhi of Liberation Through Purification, it is written, our thoughts result in one body, 100 thoughts result in 100 bodies, 1,000 thoughts means 1,000 bodies. Um, so in a day and a night you plant the seeds of birth and death which results in 850 million different bodies. The suffering souls you create in a hundred years fill the great thousand worlds. So are the physical bodies that go with it. When enclosed inside this bag of skin and flesh or the body, how could it possible that they'd know that all the different bodies in the Dharma realms are all Amitabha Buddhas? When I saw this passage, I was greatly shocked. After reading this article, I was greatly shocked, thinking about how many souls we have created. I wondered when we will complete our cycle of rebirth and achieve fruition. I once wrote an article called The Burden of 850 Millions with these questions. Now I would like to ask Grandmaster, one, are the cells in our body the so souls and spirits that we have accumulated over past lives. Two, if our cells are the souls that we created with every thought, does it mean that when the cells die, they have gone through one reincarnation? Does it mean that the spiritual cultivation that we do during the lifespan of the cells has purified the karma of the cells. For example, by reciting the mantra from Ushnisha Vijaya, can we Bardu deliver our own cells? Perhaps my thoughts are just a uh, wild imagination. Uh, I humbly ask Scrammaster to explain the above passage from the Sutra on the Samadhi of Liberation Through Purification. Thank you, Grandmaster. Homage. So note, in one year, 98% of cells in our body is being replaced, are being replaced. So this person may have researched science on s of cells. I did not know that in one year, 98% of our body cells are being replaced. Where did it come from? Do you know anyone? Yeah, that's been said before. In about one year, 98% of our body cells are being replaced. I did not know about this.
Anybody knows? Uh, those who study medicine may know, but not otherwise. I just know that cells die and regenerate. And I also heard they say that brain cells cannot be uh, regenerated, cannot regenerate. Once they die, that's it. But cells on other from other body parts can regenerate. So her questions are. Are the cells in our body, the souls that from our past lives? <laughs> Don't think about this. So if even if they are so so what does it matter to you, to me, or to everybody? Everybody's the same. We live on. It's more important to talk about Vimalakirti Sutra, right? Are the cells your uh, manifestations from souls from past lives. So what if they are? And so what if they're not? <laughs> Let's ask her to see the bird flying in the sky. <laughs> and this is actually a Chinese idiom. So what if they are, and so what if they are not? There's no need to ask such question. You just eat three times a day and sleep every day. Who cares what souls and spirits are the cells? The cells are. Don't worry about it. If you say they are, it's still how it is. If they are not, it's still how it is. They, it makes no difference at all. Let's, let's take you to see the birds outside. That's my reply to the first question. The second question is, if the cells are the souls we created with every thought, then when the cells die, that would be considered one reincarnation. So does it mean the spiritual cultivation when we, that we do during the lifespan of the cells uh, purify the karma of the cells, like chanting Ushnisha Vijaya mantra, then we bar to deliver ourselves? Let me tell you that a uh, human's body is an aggregate. It's Pindakraha. So, but research on cells will just leave it to the cell <laughs> scientists on cells. It's none of our business. And you just follow the sutra and purify your body, speech, and mind and cultivate spiritually. That's good enough. And you're trying to purify your cells? <laughs> and then each cell has its own karma, too. 
<laughs> you'll bother me too much. Are you trying to do that? <laughs> I will have to count myself <laughs> every day, thinking the karma of the cells. And do you know how many cells you have on in your body? Do you know how many cells do you have in your body? In each of our bodies? Anyone knows? Nobody would know. So why are you thinking about this? About the karma of the cells? Don't. And the Buddha never asked you to think about the karma of the cells. <laughs> You, you are creating problem from your troublemaker. Grandma, sir, please explain the Sutra on the Samadhi of Liberation through purification. One thought results in one body, 100 thoughts result in 100 bodies, 1,000 thoughts means 1,000 bodies. In a day and a night, you plant the seeds of birth and death, which results in 850 million different bodies. So the suffering souls that you create in a 100 years will feel, feel, the great thousand worlds, and so are the physical bodies. But in this physical body, how could they know that they are all the different bodies of Amitabha Buddha in the Dharma realms? So the sutra uh, included a lot of details like our body hair. I often think this. Do you know how many hair, how many strands of hair you have? Nobody can count it. And how many body hair do you have? Nobody can count it. Of course. So this is to use a human body to represent the karma that a human creates. We can say this, our mind, our behavior, our habitual tendencies, our bodies are all called karma. They're all called karma. So we can say that we live and die thousands of times, or tens of thousands of times. So the Sutra on the Samadhi of Liberation through Purification wrote this, because one thought is karma, right? A thought is a karma. Your behavior, your conduct, your action is karma. Your habitual tendencies are all karma. So it's true that we have created lots of karma. But good thing in Tribhuta school, the Tantric Tribhuta Dharma is to purify the body, speech, and mind. And in a while, we'll talk about the Eightfold Noble Path, which is also talking about the methods to purify karma. To the methods to eradicate the karma of body, speech, and mind. If you can eradicate it, then we naturally manifest our own original body. Each one of us has our own innate 
body or original body. Then by eradicating karma, you would manifest your own Buddha nature body. So the most important thing is that every one of us is Amitabha Buddha. Once you manifest, then you are Amitabha Buddha. How many Amitabha Buddha is there? Are there? We often chant Namo 36 trillions, 119 thousands and 500 Buddhas with the same name and identification of Amitabha Buddha. 36 trillions, 119 thousands and 500 Buddhas with the same name and identification of Amitabha. We often chant this. So many people ask me, Namo 36 trillions, 119 thousands and 500 Buddhas with the same name and depiction of Amitabha. Where this chanting of this epithet come from? I discovered it. Very few people chanted this way. I discovered it. In a, in a pure land uh, uh, article, and it was written in it, and then I uh, utilize it into the school. This is excellent. So this is the same. By chanting Namo, 36 trillions, 119 thousands, and 500 Buddhas with the same name and identification of Amitabha is to chant all the sentient beings. So now you know by my saying this, that all the different bodies in the Dharma realms are Amitabha Buddhas. Now it's clear to you, right? So no matter what kind of body, what kind of bodies in the Dharma realm, it is Amitabha Buddha. So I briefly explained the Sutra of liberation on the Samadhi of liberation through purification. So one thought, one body, 100 thoughts, 100 bodies, 1,000 thoughts, 1,000 bodies. And you have so many bodies. Of course, with one chant, Namo, 36 trillions, 119 thousands, and 500 Buddhas with the same name and identification of Amitabha. That would be right to chant it this way. So this is how we chant Amitabha Buddha then of course our body cells, if you believe that one cell is one soul, then they are all Bardu delivered already. That's my answer to Lianhua Yuqing from Malaysia. I think I've told this joke. When I was young, I loved to go to the zoo to look at the tiger, and I vowed that I want to raise a tiger when I grew up. And 20 years later, my wish was fulfilled. Okay, no, not, no need to say more. Now I have to do laundry and cook. Nobody laughed. 
A group of friends got together and one of them got drunk. And so the group of friends brought him to a room in a hotel and then notified the wife to come pick him up, to take care of him. And when she walked in the door, the drunkard shouted, I want a younger one. Sure enough, that's a big problem. Nobody laughed. <laughs> Now we will continue on the Vimalakirti Sutra. Uh, the 37 factors to enlightenment are the pure land of the Bodhisattvas. When the Bodhisattva become a Buddha, sentient beings with mindfulness, right exertions, transcendent basis, roots, powers, realizations, and right paths reach this field. Now we are talking about the right paths. So the path that Sakyamuni Buddha imparted, we call it the right path. And the right path was divided into eightfold. That's why we call it eightfold noble path. So, what are they? The first one is right view, right mind, right um, thoughts, right intention, right livelihood. Right livelihood, hmm? right effort, right mindfulness, right meditation, right speech, right action. <laughs> Are they all eight? So the first one, let me first talk about right view. Which is what we often talk about when we expound the Vimalakirti Sutra is the fundamental wisdom. So the the, the body is the fundamental wisdom, and the function is the wisdom of discernment. So what is the right view? We know that Sakyamuni Buddha was talking about the three Dharma seals. Everything is impermanent. The truth is impermanence. Impermanence is the truth that everything has no inherent self and nirvana is bliss. The first dharma seal is impermanence. In the Saha world, everything is impermanent. The weather today, it was a nice day with sun but it was cold. So the wind was very cold. So I put on the scarf. So even with the sun, it was still very cold. Everybody is wearing a coat. But here it's warm because we close the doors and the windows. But when you open them, and with the wind, it would be cold. And outside, you also would feel cold. So the weather is ever-changing. So sometimes with the s it rains in the sun, and we call it female rain. 
So that's impermanence. That there are so many changes within one day. Sometimes I see seven or eight changes within a day. Clear sunny sky and then becomes cloudy and then it rains and then wind and then the thunder and lightning and then snowing and hails. <laughs> so many changes in a day. So what kind of day today is hard to predict, even with the weather forecast. In one day, there are seven to eight changes. So the weather is impermanent and let alone human beings. What is impermanence? Very simple. It's reported in the news. A pedestrian health. Uh, you go out of the house happily and then you never get home again, ever. And he or she was walking on the pedestrian, on the cross road, crosswalk, and was hit by a car, young and smart. But that's impermanence. You never know what will happen to you today. In reality, there are many impermanences, so many examples, endless. The world's ever-changing. Don't think that you're, you're dating now and you think your romance is so, so beautiful, so nice. Uh, it's a success, very... Uh, Blissful. But after a while, you would know <laughs> it is impermanent. Especially love, it's really ever changing. And someone is still happy. Uh, at noon and going out together and at night the weather has changed. Love is really hard to say. It's ever changing. There are many examples of per impermanence in the human world. So the first one is impermanence. The second one is no inherent self. Is what Yi Qing asked, what Kim asked. Your body is also ever-changing, impermanent. Your body and mind are ever-changing. That's impermanence. And why? There is no self because your body is an aggregate of the earth, water, fire, and wind. They're just a combination. When you dissect them, where are you? That's why there's no self. So impermanence and no self embody cause and effect, causes and conditions. The karma is in there. So, 
the fundamental wisdom is the body or the form, and the wisdom of discernment is the function. So in discernment, that with then the impermanence and no self, you would be able to see the uh, nirvana of the fundamental wisdom. Impermanence is cause and effect. No self is also cause and effect. But when people say everything's empty, so is uh, how can it be cause and effect? Then that's the wrong thought, not the right thought. Not the right view, sorry. Not the right view. So the right view is you cannot be biased toward existence or emptiness, that you are on the middle path, that from existences you can see emptiness, but emptiness also cannot uh, reject, uh, cannot reject Existence cannot deny existences. So the so-called impermanence, it includes cause and effect in there, causes and conditions in there. And today, the same with no self, it also embodies cause and effect, causes and conditions in there. We cannot deny the cause and effect and causes and conditions. First, you know it is empty, but you cannot deny karma, cause and effect. And this would be the right view. This would be a right view. Why is the weather clear because the sun is shining. But why it becomes cloudy all of a sudden? Because lots of clouds come. And why does it rain? Because it was dark clouds. And why was it, why is it snowing? Because it's cold. So what's falling becomes snowflakes because it's cold. And why is it hailing? Because the snow form because there's some causes, so they become hills. And why is there thunder? Because the negative and the positive meeting each other, so there's thunders and lightning. And why is it windy? Where does the wind come from? And you would know. So there's cause and effect in all this. If you go higher, then none of those exist. And that is the fundamental wisdom. Things that's happening and changing underneath is the wisdom of discernment. But you cannot use the fundamental wisdom to, to reject the wisdom of discernment. At the same time, you cannot use the wisdom of discernment to reject the fundamental wisdom. And such a view is called right view. So today, we start from impermanence and no self to see that nirvana is bliss. And this is Tathagata's right view, the first of the Eightfold Noble Path. The second 
is called the right mindset. The second. Right thought or right mindset, which is in the Buddhism called the uh, hearing, thinking, and practicing. Why are sentient beings reincarnated? Because what they think is all uh, uh, true and false. I don't like chatting with people. I like to be silent and I don't like to talk unless it's time for me to talk. I don't like to chat. When I go back to Taiwan, Simu's uh, brothers, younger brother, and some of her relatives, and they asked me, come on, let's go, come and chat with us. But I never do, ne never did. You know why? Because uh, I don't have time. Practicing is more important to me. I don't like to chat. Because once you chat, then you talk about gossips. When you go for afternoon tea, you go to Coco for the bubble tea. My granddaughter is working at Coco now. Jin. And people ask her, why are you working at Coco? Uh, because of the free bubble tea. So she's working there. You can go to Coco in Bellevue. And you can see Jin is working there. So what do you do when you have tea together? You gossip, bubble tea, some snacks, and you chat about what? About true and false, about gossips, about this person and that person. That's all. What else are you talking about? Just if not this person is right, that person is wrong. Everything on television is about rights and wrongs. Who is right, who is wrong. And the commentators and the hosts just kept keep talking about this and that all day long. That's why human beings never are not able to abandon our bodies and we keep tumbling in the six rebirth realm because have you ever keep uh, crickets? Like when we were oh, no, 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 sorry, silkworms, silkworms. Human beings are like that too. They would spit the cocoon around yourself. Nobody bind you, but you spit it out yourself to bind yourself. Like a cocoon. So you spit a lot of uh, thread, and then the cocoon envelope yourself. So what for? It's better to practice the purity of body, speech, and mind. 
that your thoughts, your mindset, this is called wisdom. So you need to have wisdom. It's the wisdom of thought. The right thought is only one. That you want to have attainment in your spiritual cultivation. This is called the right mindset, the right thoughts. We have no time to chat. We have not much time to live. We have no time for those. Then this would be the right mindset or the right thought. Don't gossip, chat, talk too much. Don't bind yourself. Do our best and find time to chant the Buddha's name, to be reborn in the pure land, to have attainments in our spiritual cultivation, to eradicate our karma. This would be the right thought or the right mindset. This is the second. Third is right speech. Like the right thought, when we speak, we need to pay attention the purity of our speech. Don't defame other people casually. If you don't see it personally or experience it yourself, most of the time you just heard it. And it's not accurate. So we often say, Chen the Buddha's name is the its right speech and chanting the mantra is the purity of the speech. So right speech is the same as the pure pure speech or the purity of the speech. But most people are, are not like that. They always talk and talk. And because they have the thoughts, and then they say it from their mouth. So what they think, they say. But the time you spend talking is spent on chanting the Buddha's name or chanting mantras, then this would become right speech. And about speech, we also say in the four enticement practices is we need to say kind words or loving words, kind words, not evil words, not bad words. Anyone can stand up and talk about speech karma, uh, bad words, double-tongued, uh, exaggeration or making up, and lies for karma of the speech. So you avoid them. Bad words, lies, uh, discords or double-tongues, and uh, it's like, uh, what's that called? Nonsense. Nonsense words. Non useless words. Then if you avoid these four kinds of speech, then the rest is right speech. And that would be the purity of speech. So we have covered three. The fourth one is right livelihood. Because our speech, our action, 
and our mind are creating karma. They are all karma. Just like the question asked by Kim earlier. They are all karma. One thought results in one body, hundreds of thoughts, hundreds of bodies, and thousands of thoughts, thousands of bodies. So thought is karma. So what is the right action? Or right karma? is when you have pure body, pure speech, and pure mind. That your mouth does not violate the, or does not create speech karma, the body does not create body karma, and the mind does not create mind karma. And that is the purity of the body, speech, and mind. And that is called right livelihood or right karma. Like in our Dharma practice, you're chanting mantra, your mind is visualizing the form of the deity, and your body is forming the mudra. Doesn't matter what mudra you form, they're all pure that represent the purity of your body. So your mind is visualizing, your mouth is uh, chanting, and your body is forming mudra. That's the pure mind, pure speech, and pure body. At this time, the three karma are pure, and that's called right karma. So tantric Spiritual cultivation is very direct. When you form the mudras, that's the purity of the body. When you chant the mantras, that's the purity of the speech. When you visualize to teach you visualization, the methods of visualization is the purity of the mind. Very simple. So Tantrayana relies on these three purities to gain spiritual union with the deities because that's right karma. Pure body, pure mind, pure speech. When you chant this, this is a mantra, and that's the purity of the speech. And you hear it with your ears, then your mind is pure, and you visualize Guru Padma Sambhava, and then you form Guru Padma Sambhava's mudra, and that's the purity of the body. Then when your body, speech, and mind are pure, this is the right karma. Do you understand now? Next is right livelihood. Then this is very easy to explain. And if you live according to this, that you live your life with pure body, speech, and mind, that's right livelihood. Your 
So in your life, so you continue to live with the pure body, speech, and mind. And that would be called right livelihood, right view, right thought, right speech, right karma or action, right livelihood. Five kinds. Now, do you know? Therefore, I don't really say anything when giving Dharma teaching. As for me, I speak mostly when I give Dharma teaching, and I don't speak much at other times. Like during meal times, I don't say much, but sometimes Sometimes, if as appropriate, and sometimes I sing a song when I'm happy. But actually, it sounds bad. No. Uh, the other day, last week, I heard someone from California who sang a song. That sounded nice. So I wrote it. And uh, so it's not that good, but let me sing it for you. I haven't memorized it quite well. You're my angel guiding me. I give you a little bit of heart and a flower because you give me so much touch. This song is very nice. Uh, listen to me thanking you. And this song I sang in Taiwan, Planting Stars. Of all the stars in the sky, which ones are your eyes? The clouds in the sky fall into my heart. 
只要你愿意相信。Each of the star is someone who loves you. If you believe that, you would be the happiest person. Each star in the sky is someone who has loved us. If you are willing to believe that, then you are planting the stars. Yeah. 你唱歌啊，心情也好。啊 ，You would be in a good mood after singing. And these are all uh good songs. Positive. I like to listen and hand it. But of course, it doesn't. I I don't sing well if I sing for others. Sorry about that. Om Mani Padme Hum. We are very grateful to His Holiness, precious Dharma teaching. Tomorrow, April second, Sunday at three p.m., we are inviting His Holiness to go to Rainbow Temple to preside over the Siddhigarbha Bodhisattva Ancestral Day Homa. Do deliverance ceremony. The temple opens starting at 1 p.m. and you're required to wear mask. There would be direct webcasts in both Chinese and English. For details, please check the websites. If you would like to take refuge, please come to the center of the temple and personally receive refuge initiation from His Holiness. If you're not present in person and would like to take refuge in our lineage school and follow the spiritual cultivation of Tukuda School, please send a letter to Tukuda Foundation. This ends the English interpretation today. Please remember to return your receivers. Thank you very much.
家起义，做观想大礼拜。一拜根本传承上师及十方三世一切诸佛，嗡啊，吽，观想顶礼，回天心三印，二拜诸菩萨，嗡啊，吽，观想顶礼。回天心三印，三拜诸护法金刚，嗡啊，吽，观想顶礼，回天心三印，自平等离其所。恭庆法王圣尊莲生活佛加持与会四众弟子，同修会圆满吉祥结束了，非常感恩师尊的大加持，感谢师母、长老仁波切诸位上师、教授、师法师。讲师、助教、贵宾同们善信大德的护持，谢谢大家，阿弥陀佛。网络直播到此结束，非常感谢大家的收看。We now conclude this live broadcast. Thank you for viewing.